Let's go live to central London and we can talk to Ksenia Pavlovic Maketeer, an American journalist. Thanks for your time here on Sky News. So, uh, first of all, maybe when we talk about a partial shutdown, what exactly does that mean? Well, it means that the government is going to just be partially shut down and that uh, basically uh, not everything is going to be affected. But that's not a crucial question here or an issue at hand here, because what you're looking right now is basically a textbook example of the politics of coercion by the sitting president of the United States, who is showing to the whole world that there is only one way to govern, and that is my way or the highway, and he doesn't really care how is this going to affect a federal employees and American people at large? Because fundamentally, he only cares about his base and how he's going to deliver his biggest campaign promise to build a wall with Mexico. So just, just, just to remind us then how we got to this situation of this partial government shutdown. Yes, we arrived at this situation. Uh, first, he called uh, Nancy Pelosi and Schumer earlier this week, and he tried to basically show the world for the optics that he is capable of uh, negotiating some sort of a deal. And he exploded basically in front of the cameras, in front of the White House press pool, and he went on a rant and he basically said that he's going to shut down the government unless he gets the wall. And then after that, uh, the blame game have opened in, in Washington. They're blaming each other. Democrats are blaming Trump. Trump is blaming, blaming the Democrats. They cannot agree on the funding on $5, million, uh, $5 billion uh, to deliver the wall. So basically, this is how we arrived here. And uh, some would say he's just making good on the promise that uh, he made in uh, his presidential campaign, that he's always insisted he wants this wall built. Yes, that's right. But it's not only that. We need to look at this political development in the larger context. And we have a series of events or series of crises that are happening uh, as uh, as we are looking what's going on in the White House, and that is the pullout of Syria. So on the central stage, on the global stage, uh, he's making America look very weak, and he's also creating instability within American system. So yes, he wants to deliver to his uh, campaign promise, but at what cost? This is uh, something that uh, all analysts, uh, all American people should ask themselves. What is the cost of the wall? Whatever happened to making Mexico pay for the wall then? Nothing, of course. He knew from the very start that Mexico is not going to pay for the wall, but it was a very good soundbite for his base to be uh, basically animated and vote for him. And uh, we all know who are following uh, the president in the White House that he's known for making these bombastic statements that really do not have any grounding in reality. So he's making these blanket statements knowing that all he wants in the end is the vote at any cost. Are services going to be shut in this partial shutdown? In effect, we are in the run-up to Christmas, so uh, the weekend before the 25th, so you would expect uh, many things to be closing down for the festive season? Yes, unless they miraculously reach some kind of agreement this Sunday. Um, so it's all a political game, but uh, part of the Homeland uh, Security Department is going to uh, shut down. Uh, parts of the Justice Department are affected. S uh, Smithsonian Museum is also affected because they only have the funding until January. So it's not just about the wall and it just, it's not just about the border security uh, because uh, he doesn't understand the full picture uh, and complexity of what it means to be an American president. So uh, he is uh, having a very black and white uh, mindset, which may work in business, uh, but doesn't really work in politics because things are never black and white. So yes, partially, things are going to be affected. All right, well, we'll leave it there. Ksenia Pavlovic, Maketeer, uh, American journalist, joining us from central London, uh, telling us about this uh, partial government shutdown in the US. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Thank you.